Golden Dome Missile Defense Shield. Golden Dome, we need to move fast. Nobody else is capable of building it either. This is the picture that the White House has used to illustrate what the new Golden Dome initiative really is. This is real. This is starting right now as we speak. But why did President Trump, out of the blue, did launch this program? Because the same thing was already tried in the past and it didn't succeed. What if free people could live secure in the knowledge that we could intercept and destroy strategic ballistic missiles before they reached our own soil or that of our allies? So why now? Does he know anything that we don't know? This is just the first of a series of videos if you're interested, and these are going to be some of the most complex videos I ever made. This is very theatrical, sir. Uh, Otis, it is a figure of speech, but indeed, the Golden Dome Initiative is potentially a huge program and a technology effort that rivals and probably surpasses the epic space initiatives of the Kate's past. And yet, Donald Trump boasted that the system will be completed in the next three years before the end of his administration. He secured about $25 billion in the 2026 budget for this initiative, part of a total of $175 billion in the next three years. But that's very, very optimistic. The Congressional Budget Office estimated the cost of sustaining the system for 20 years, including the acquisition, with space-based and ground-based component, to over one trillion. And this is your money. Well, it is yours if you are American, as about a third of the channel viewers are. But before starting, just a few seconds to let you know that this video is sponsored by you. Yes, you that you watch the YouTube adverts, uh, even if they are annoying, you who become part of the Patreon community or join the channel with the button below. You that support the channel financially by any other of the means available on YouTube or off YouTube. Patrons and members have a view of the backstage with posts, sources and dedicated videos that explain what is going on. They also have a direct channel with me if you want to ask or discuss anything. So if you are interested, please consider joining. Thank you for what you do. All of this would not be possible without you. And if you consider supporting the channel, all the links are in the description. The Golden Dome Missile Defense Program is designed to address a broad and evolving spectrum of aerial threats. It is a large expansion beyond previous US homeland missile defense policies, which primarily focused on rogue nations and similar threats. To be honest, the term rogue nation always causes me a skin rush every time I hear it, but this is what they use. The main threat is ballistic missiles, all types of ballistic missiles, including intercontinental ballistic missiles. The system aims to detect and destroy these missiles at all stages of their flight, pre-launch, boost phase, mid-course and re-entry. And please notice that pre-launch is not really a flight stage. The very fact that this option is even considered makes the system an offensive system. It includes the development and deployment of what they call proliferated space-based interceptors, capable of a boost phase intercept, but we will get back to it. Golden Dome directly targets next-generation strategic weapons, particularly hypersonic missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles, which pose complex challenges due to their speed and maneuverability. As if this was not enough, the system is also intended to defend against advanced cruise missiles. In these videos, though, we will focus on ballistic missile defense. But that's not enough, because the system also aims to counter the threat posed by adversaries like China and Russia, which are developing and deploying offensive weapons in space, such as satellites capable of disabling US satellites and even potential space-based nuclear weapons. The latter, I don't think it is the case, but the former, it is most likely. The inclusion of US space-based weapons in Golden Dome is designed to address missiles even if they're launched from space. 
I guess this is breaking the Outer Space Treaty, sir. Possibly Otis, yes, possibly, but I leave this to the policy and law experts. In contrast with the present strategy of protecting the USA from a limited ballistic attack from a rogue nation, Golden Dome is intended to counter threats from nations with military capabilities comparable to the United States, specifically China and Russia. The purpose is very ambitious. It is intended to provide a close to 100% protection for the US homeland against a large array of aerial threats. This is an unprecedented effort at a scale never so before, but it is not starting from scratch. The United States already deployed some systems and sensors capable of intercepting ballistic missiles. The US Army Patriot surface-to-air missiles has limited capabilities to intercept theater missiles in the terminal phase. The Tahad, which is again an army system, is designed to intercept medium-range ballistic missiles in the post-apex and re-entry stage. The SM-3 missile, controlled by the Aegis system, is used by the US cruisers and destroyers and other ground-based installations. It is effective in the intermediate stage against intermediate-range ballistic missiles. Other Navy missiles, like the SM-2 or the SM-6, have some limited ABM capability. Finally, there are also about 40 ground-based interceptors in Alaska designed for the specific case of North Korea and Iran executing a limited attack. There are also plenty of sensors that can be networked and integrated to take part to the defense, either fixed or installed on ships or road mobile. We will get into the details in other videos, but there is something else we need to focus on in this introductory video. In fact, it seems that the United States are already in a good position that ballistic missile defense has got the attention it deserves already. At the end of the day, various systems are already available, producing enough of them and tying all of them together should be enough. Or so it seems. Well, nothing could be more wrong. Again, this is very theatrical, sir. Well, Otis, uh, it is an unprecedented initiative. Some hype is justified. Don't you feel the vibes? No. With my senses, I can feel only vibrations, sir. Um, okay, so leaving Otis' sensors sweet aside for the moment, we have to understand that the situation is not what it seems. All these systems are ground-based systems, all of them have limitations, which means that they can engage ballistic missiles in the post-apex and the re-entry phase only. Some of them have proven to be quite effective, albeit very expensive, but some of them have shown mixed or poor records. What exists today is not a good foundation to build on. It is a mishmash that needs fixing. And the Golden Dawn program has radical plans to deal with it. The eyes of the Golden Dome will be a tracking layer, to be precise, a hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor layer, which is a mouthful. They use the term layer, but it will be a space-based large constellation of satellites with wide field of view sensors. Something similar was actually already ongoing and two prototypes have been launched in 2024. The system will be integrated with the proliferated Warfighter Space Architecture Custody Layer, also known as PWSA. I really wish the US Space Forces used more approachable names for everyone's sanity. 
Anyway, the PWSA is going to be the skeleton of all the US space initiatives, not just the Golden Dome. It should include essentially communication satellites and other ground-based systems to bond together all the American military and intelligence space-based components. It should be a way to have robust and redundant communications together with data fusion uh, by default. And what I mean with by default is that every system being integrated will be part of the truck sources considered for data fusion. Once again, it will be a large satellite constellation in low heart orbit. These two systems, the tracking system and the PWSA, are specific Golden Dome systems, even if their capability could be used elsewhere, but everything already existing in the space of ballistic missile defense will be integrated. This is what I mean with fixing the mishmash. There are well-known and lesser-known systems. For example, the new SBIRS infrared satellites constellation will be integrated and this time is just six satellites. There is also a series of ground-based systems like the big early warning radars that are already in service and the new long-range discrimination radar whose first unit has just been accepted in service. In principle, other ballistic missile defense sensors should also be integrated, like the ANSPY-1 of the Aegis system or the ANTPY-2 of the TAD batteries. In practice, the sensors and the command and control function will be totally integrated and centralized and this is crucial for the effectiveness of the whole Golden Dome. But we will discuss this detail uh, in a different occasion. You always say so, but you hardly do, sir. Uh, well, Otis, there is a practical limit to the runtime of every video. But in this case, I am sure that there will be a lot of interest. Even because ballistic missile defense is important in context even beyond the Golden Dome. It is important because in Israel and Ukraine, systems that will be integrated in the Golden Dome have already been used. It is important because Russia is producing a revolutionary system like the Arezhnik, and I'm pretty sure that the Arezhnik is one of the systems being considered in the context of the design of the Golden Dome. Systems like the Arezhnik that carry so many warheads are those whose defense from could benefit from a space-based asset capable of intercepting it during the boost phase. Because afterwards, there are just too many targets. Trump's executive order specifically calls for the development and deployment of proliferated space-based interceptors capable of boost phase intercept. To be honest, it took a while to understand what that means, uh, because it has a meaning, even though it may not seem so. In practice, this means deploying a mega constellation in space. Yes, another one, where every satellite can fire interceptors that can hit a ballistic missile during the boost phase, that is, when the rocket engine is still on. This is reminiscent of the brilliant Pebbles concept developed for the Reagans SDI initiative in the 80s. It was extremely difficult to do then, and it is extremely difficult to do today because the laws of physics have not changed, uh, the geometry of the problem has not changed. Well, in this context, nothing has changed in the last 40 years. Intercepting at the beginning of the flight seems a, a good idea because the missile is very visible and it has not yet deployed warheads, decoys or all the other paraphernalia. However, the time available for the decision and the intercept is very, very short and you need to have a satellite correctly positioned when it is time to act. This requires a lot of satellites or interceptors with performance beyond the current technology. This is expected to be the main defensive weapon, but we still need to see how it is going to work. This is a very difficult capability to develop. Together with this layer, there are various other capabilities planned with the purpose of contrasting counter-value attacks. Counter-value means against anything not military. Mm. Yes, correct. Thank you, Otis. The plans include the next generation interceptor with the purpose of hitting a missile in the post apex and re entry stage, and a dedicated hypersonic glide phase interceptor to target hypersonic gliders that have a very 
specific and particular trajectory. Both of these systems have been already in development and they will be integrated within the Golden Dome initiative. In the executive order, there is also a specific reference to non-kinetic effectors. This might refer either to electronic countermeasures or laser systems, but the details are not clear at all. This is what was explicitly included in the executive order and it, this is what was discussed in various interviews and articles. But there is an entire category of counter space systems that we mentioned at the beginning that has not been addressed. So there should be something else that we don't know yet. As I hope it is quite clear by now, the Golden Dome is a gigantic initiative and its foundation is not that well set. I am personally dubious about some of the technologies that have been planned and even the nearly 100% protection target seems honestly unrealistic. I am inclined to believe that mega constellations are quite vulnerable, but maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but probably worst of all, if we abandon the technology and look into the geopolitics, the stabilizing effect of such a system is just immense. However, it seems quite clear that the Trump administration and the US are going to proceed anyway, so we need to know what is going on in some detail. And for the final outcome, uh, well, I guess we just need to wait and see. So, thank you very much for watching this video. It's a pleasure and a honor having had your attention. Thank you very much to patrons, members, and all those who support the channel financially. You are absolute stars. And if you can support the channel financially, please subscribe, it's free, or interact with the video, leave a comment, hit like, hit the bell, and so on. So, this is it for now. There's more to come. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.